My dearest Miss Amelia Rosewood, forgive the audacity of a mere stranger intruding upon your life with ink and quill. My name is Silas Hawthorne, and though our paths have yet to cross in the bustling streets of London, your name has come to me like a whisper carried on the summer breeze. It all began at the quaint Henderson's bookshop, nestled amidst the towering shelves of adventure and romance. There, amidst the worn pages of Browning's poetry, I overheard your laughter, like cascading chimes, as you debated the merits of Miss Bronte's heroines with your friend. Intrigued, I stole a glance, but alas, fate played a cruel hand, and you were already gone before my gaze could meet yours. Yet, your captivating voice and the lively spark in your words left an indelible mark on my soul. Driven by an inexplicable yearning, I inquired about you, discovering you reside near the Regent's Park, my own humble abode. So, with a pounding heart and ink-stained fingers, I pen this letter, a bridge across the uncharted territory that separates us. I confess this is a most unconventional approach, but the world seems awfully small when filled with the echo of a captivating laugh, Perhaps you find this gesture foolish or even intrusive. However, I assure you, my intentions are as pure as the first bloom of spring. I only wish to know the woman whose voice holds the music of poetry and whose laughter paints smiles on strangers' faces. If a spark of curiosity flickers within you, consider this letter an invitation. Allow me to offer you a cup of tea and engage in conversation, not as strangers but as kindred spirits drawn together by the invisible threads of chance. Should you deem me worthy of your time, a reply left at the aforementioned bookshop, nestled amongst the very pages that brought us closer, would be an honour beyond measure. Until then, I remain, with heart a flutter and quill at the ready. Silas Hawthorne P.S. Should my name ring a faint bell, Perhaps you heard whispers of a young apprentice at Mr. Cavendish's clock shop. I confess, a secret ambition lies within my heart, one I long to share with someone who understands the beauty of dreams.